Hello, welcome to my easy statistics. In this video, I will be discussing about partial correlation and semi-partial correlation. Before we discuss that partial correlation and semi-partial correlation, let us see about this zero order correlation. Zero order correlation is very simple correlation. If you have two variables and we are finding uh, the correlation between these two variables, it is called a zero order correlation. Like you can see the notation here R Y Z. It means correlation between Y and Z is identified. Here R Y X correlation between Y and X. R X Z correlation between X and Z is calculated. So it is called zero order correlation means we don't have the third variable. We are trying to find the correlation exactly between only two variables. So it is called zero order correlation. But when you talk about partial correlation, we'll be having three variables. When we want to find the correlation between two variables like X and Y, but controlling the third variable, controlling the third variable, then we need to find the partial correlation. If you see this notation, you'll easily understand R Y X dot Z. Okay means we are trying to find the partial correlation between y and z and we are parceling out what z means z correlation be, uh, for both y and x is a remote if you see this y and diagram we are trying to find the correlation between y and x but z correlation is a removed z is removed means this portion that a d b c this area will not be there we are trying to find the correlation between x and y only so partial correlation parceling out means removing we are removing z relation with x and y and we are trying to find the correlation between only y and x so r y x dot z means it is a partial correlation is a correlation between x and y in which the correlation of z with x and y is removed means a z correlation we are removing it out both from y and x now if you see the next one r y z dot x this is partial correlation is a correlation between y and z in which the correlation of x with y and z is removed you can see y z dot x means x correlation with y and z is removed and we are trying to find only the correlation between y and z in the absence of x now here y and z correlation is found this x is removed means this a b d portion we are not going to have we don't take into, con into consideration and we try to find only correlation between y and z this is partial correlation and I'm showing a formula very simple formula to find partial correlation you can easily find this partial correlation using SPSS software you can find correlation and partial correlation also you can easily do it with the analysis in the analysis if you go you will have um, correlation in correlation we have the first one is bivariate next one is partial but I'm showing a formula which will be interesting to identify how we do this analysis here R Y X is correlation between Y and X the value is 0.444 R Y Z 0.438 R X Z is 0.477 so here we have taken the square of these values this value and this value we got this value if you substitute in the formula the partial correlation between Y and X controlling Z is 0.298 in the same way we have calculated the partial correlation between y and z controlling x means x correlation with y and z is removed this is called partialing out total partialing but we have something called semi partial correlation partial means where we are trying to remove the correlation of one third variable controlling variable with both variables but in partialing we have something different in partial if you see this notation r y x dot z we kept a bracket here in the bracket we kept x dot z means here in the semi partial correlation we have a correlation of y with both x and z and only we are removing the correlation of z with x because you can see x dot z is kept means only we are removing the z correlation with x is only removed but y 
will have correlation with x and z in partial correlation if you remove z correlation with both y and x was removed but in semi partial means semi means half in this half partial z will have correlation with y but z correlation with x is only removed means only this db part will be removed but the c portion will be there now this is called semi partial correlation semi partial correlation is a correlation between x and y in which the correlation of z with x is removed means only the correlation of z with x is removed and we are going to find the correlation between y and x dot y and z also means z will have correlation with both x and z but we are only keeping controlling this area means we are removing the correlation of z with x and we are finding the correlation between this three variables this is called semi partial correlation just i repeat once again in partial correlation z that is control variable is totally removed with both variables x and y but in semi partial semi means only half partialing we are removing the correlation with x only is controlled but z has correlation with y in this condition if you find that is called semi partial correlation you can see the next one r y within the bracket z dot x this is semi partial correlation is a correlation between z and y in which the correlation of x with z is removed but x will have correlation with y this is called semi partial correlation and this is a formula in spss we cannot calculate semi partial correlation directly in uh, regression analysis we can do that one and it is called part partial correlation but uh, directly we cannot uh, do uh, with any variable for example i want to keep controlling y variable and i want to con uh, find the semi -co partial correlation between the other two variables we cannot do that one so you can use this formula to find semi partial correlation as i explained earlier the correlation between y and x is 0.44 uh, the correlation between y and z is 0.438 and uh, correlation between x and z is 0.477 if you take the square of this this is a value if you substitute in the formula you will be getting this correlation this partial correlation semi partial correlation so semi partial correlation of y and x controlling z is 0.268 in the same way semi partial correlation of y with z controlling x is 0.257 in the next video i am going to discuss about uh, doing the semi partial correlation using regression analysis in regression analysis we talk about r square value that is a total variance explained by two independent variables on the dependent variable interestingly we want to know what is the variance explained by one independent variable on dependent variable then we can use this semi partial correlation so how to find that one we will be discussing in the next video so please see that video also thank you